2020, we face the new challenge of sea kayaking plus social distancing. Self-rescue skills will be highly useful for sea kayakers who don't wish to rely on assisted rescues from other group members. In this video, we check out the key elements of the re-entry role in dynamic water. Sea kayakers often discover that techniques such as the scramble method or the paddle float are problematic in more challenging conditions. While they remain useful options in many situations, we recommend the re-entry role for anyone who has already developed kayak rolling skills. There are a few required modifications which we outline in this 5 minute video. We recommend that you develop and test your re-entry rolling skills in protected water before heading out into more challenging conditions. It's also a good idea to have experienced friends around in case you need an assisted rescue at any time. We recommend that you also view our scramble self-rescue video at our Kayak Essentials YouTube channel. We'll be producing many more sea kayaking skills and safety videos, so don't forget to subscribe. Perhaps the most effective self-rescue option is the re-entry and roll. Quick and efficient, it'll get you back into your kayak in pretty much all conditions. You'll need to have good rolling skills, however, and you need to be happy paddling your kayak with a flooded cockpit. There isn't the scope in this DVD to cover the fundamentals of rolling. However, the re-entry and roll demonstrations shown here clearly illustrate the key principles. If you paddle in exposed sea conditions, it's important to be able to roll reliably. Like any skill, it will only develop with structured practice and can become rusty, so it's a good idea to work on it at regular intervals. Consider the importance of good body position, active use of the lower body to right the kayak, and effective movement of the active blade. Remember that we find a balanced position in the water and use our rolling skills to right the kayak underneath our bodies. Finally, we sit up over the kayak. Let's take a closer look at the re-entry and roll, which could be a good first choice in rough water. Swim in the water next to the kayak, facing forwards. Many sea kayaks sit slightly on their sides, making it easier to slide the legs into the boat. Remember that you'll need to climb fully into the cockpit with the legs engaged under the thigh braces and your backside firmly in contact with the seat. Take hold of the paddle and bring it into your setup position, with the active blade clear of the water, ready to initiate the roll. There are many ways to roll the kayak. Here I'm using a sweeping blade on the surface of the water to generate lift as I roll the kayak underneath me. It helps to take a firm grip of the cockpit combing and actively pull yourself into the kayak to overcome the natural buoyancy of your PFD and clothing and ensure a solid connection with the boat. You ought to keep hold of the paddle and will need to check the position of the active blade before attempting to roll. Some people tuck their paddles under one arm, while others keep it in one hand while climbing into the kayak. When rolling, drive with the legs to right the kayak under you. Focus on a relaxed upper body, good head position and an effective sweep. Here we see a commitment to being upside down at the re-entry phase of the roll. Take a deep breath, stay relaxed and commit to the action of climbing fully back into the kayak. It can be helpful to make use of an extended paddle position to generate more lift and leverage from the blade. You'll need to be careful to find the best blade position if using this technique. If you found this video useful, you can access all four hours of high quality sea kayak instructional chapters by directly purchasing them via our Kayak Essentials website or by joining our Essential Membership Service, which gives you access to a huge range of videos, articles, podcasts and webinars covering technical skills, navigation tools, leadership principles and coaching issues. At £3.60 per month, we think it's pretty good value. You'll find further information in the members area of our Kayak Essentials website.